Hey guys, and today I want to talk to you a little bit more about fire. Now, not too long ago, I made a video about the lighter and I showed you what an excellent tool it is to take out camping. And your biggest mistake is not to take more than one. Uh, they're really light, they take up next to no room, they're very robust, they're pretty much waterproof. I've dunked it in water, it still worked, I repeated it, it still worked. They're great tools. Today I'm going to talk to you about what you're going to light on fire with that lighter specifically in a more emergency type situation where you know everything's quite damp quite wet and you you know a really good option is to have something with you some pre-prepared you know tinder tab type thing that you can uh, that you can use to start a fire now method is pretty good if you use a transier stove that's definitely one of the methods I use uh, but I also carry my own homemade tinder tabs now rather than going to the store and you know spending money on you know some you know chemically treated whatever uh, which are you know why waste that money and they're not everywhere so that you know they can be quite hard to come by there's something that you can really simply do at home just go to your local store pick up some cotton balls and pick up some Vaseline and I'm gonna show you right now how good that works so let me play the video um, and as you can see here I've got my cotton balls and the Vaseline and all you have to do is just apply a bit of a coating on the cotton balls now this is obviously something that you do at home before you go out camping but the difference it makes is crazy. Now, cotton balls by themselves are a really, really good little tool to take out there and will help you light a fire, but they have three main weaknesses. Number one, the flame isn't too strong, which makes it difficult to light uh, any potentially wet, uh, you know, tinder that you have. And also, the they don't last for too long, plus they're not too waterproof. So you can see here now that I've lit the one uh, on fire with the Vaseline, how much stronger that flame is and watch here how much longer the flame lasts so definitely you know i'm going to light two other cotton balls on fire so three in total without the vaseline and the one with vaseline definitely outperforms the other three by miles now let me show you the other test that i did to, uh, and that's the waterproof test so i've got the cotton ball here and i'm not going to fully submerge it in water like completely duck, uh, dunk it but you can see uh, i'm giving a good you know mixing around the water and trying to get it you know reasonably damp let's say you know if some water leaked through the bag or, or whatever i mean it you should be keeping these things pretty watertight if especially since it's your kind of backup to a backup um, but let's say they do get a little bit wet uh, you can see that it still lights on fire and produces a pretty damn good flame in saying that if you just use a plain cotton ball there's next to no chance that you're gonna light that thing on fire you can see here I didn't drench it anywhere near as much uh, but still it becomes next to impossible to light on fire even if I put it next to the cotton ball that is on fire so you know pretty much there you have it it's so so easy to come by cotton balls and Vaseline and they're so cheap and it's such a quick easy process to do at home I really don't know why people go out and buy these fancy tinder tabs or whatever from the stores I mean you can just do this at home and the result the uh, results are just like they speak for themselves you can see in the video so I hope that you know helps a little bit and you got something out of it and rather than going to the store and buying that other stuff you'll save yourself from some money um, and some effort and just be able to do this at home so yeah thanks for watching if you do have any questions feel free to ask otherwise get out there and enjoy your camping cheers guys